Washington and Havana may have opened their embassies, but major obstacles still remain. For example, Cuba's foreign minister wants the U.S. trade embargo against his nation removed. CCTV's Jessica Stone has more on the challenges ahead in this new relationship. For Cuba's 11 million people, the average monthly wage is around $17 a month. Cubans believe the U.S. trade embargo is unfairly penalizing their people. Cuba's foreign minister says his first priority in the new relationship with Washington is to get the embargo lifted. Solo la eliminación del bloqueo... The historic events we are living today will only make sense with the removal of the economic, commercial and financial blockade which causes so much deprivation and damage to our people. And this year, Congress should begin the work of ending the embargo. U.S. President Barack Obama has called on Congress to lift the blockade. The U.S. spends millions on blocked television and radio signals to the island and has lost billions in trade with Cuba. The chief lobbyist for U.S. businesses visited the island last spring, calling for an end to the embargo. The fact is all the momentum is with people who want to change this policy. I think the people who are holding on to the past look more and more isolated. But members of both parties in Congress say the trade embargo must stay in place until Cuba changes its human rights and property rights policies and becomes more democratic. When it comes to Cuba, the administration keeps giving and giving and giving. But the Castro brothers are giving or doing nothing. Meantime, polls showing in the United States that something like 59 percent of Americans now support the lifting of that embargo. So getting the pressure on Congress might be as simple as many phone calls to congressmen and women. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.